woman hurriedly shouted for Roy to calm down. After all, what was standing outside is most likely not human. Roy was also a bit scared when he heard that. He called his neighbor across the street. He asked him to check his door to see if anyone was there. But the neighbor looked and saw there was no one at the door. Now the two of them finally confirmed. The old man in the surveillance head was indeed a ghost. Just when they were at a loss for words, the old man disappeared in a strange way. Roy hurriedly opened the door to check. There was nothing out there. There was not even a hair on the ground. He looked back at the surveillance head. Immediately, he figured out what was going on. He told his wife it wasn't a ghost. They only seen it on the software. In reality, there wasn't even a hair on the ground. Most likely someone had hacked into the surveillance head system, or someone was playing a prank. Maybe there's an example online by now. The next day, the woman did see the same thing on the internet, but she had a feeling she'd seen the old man somewhere before. The woman suddenly remembered. When she was in high school, there was this old caretaker at school. He was always mumbling to himself and going crazy. All the students laughed at him. She was the only one who treated the old man politely. But from that day on, the strange old man was always sending her gifts and love letters. Then he disappeared for no apparent reason, although she couldn't remember what he looked like. But it was probably the same old man. To find out if he was the same person, the woman investigates the house of the caretaker's sister. She found out from his sister. He had been gone for many years. She didn't know where he'd gone, but the only photo of him was still in the house. The truth finally came out. The sick old man was the school caretaker, but there was no point in knowing who he was.